and good morning to everyone. I have the ball right here. Come on down here, Alaska. Let's roll the ball up and down. Hands. And in the palm. And the pads. And across the knuckles. And oh, interlace our fingers and squeeze. And let go. And squeeze. And let go. And squeeze one more time. And let go. Let's toss it up in the air. Moving it around, switching hands, switching directions, pulling ourselves, dropping it every once in a while. Not on purpose, but just because we're being so challenging. Our feet are feeling knees, ankles, hips. Take a note of that and press down three times. Up to the knuckle. Pressing down once, going across. Roll it across the knuckles. Roll it down the bone. Bring the ball to the middle of the foot and wiggle the toe. Bring the ball to the crease between the toes and the knuckles and press the toes into the ball. Release and separate the toes. Press once more. Bring the ball back to the middle and wiggle. And scroll. Release, reassess, bring the ball to the other foot, step down three times right in the middle. To the knuckles, once across. Slide it across. Roll it down the bone. Bring it to the middle of the foot and wiggle. Bring it to the crease and press. Bring it up and separate the toes.
back increase uh, to decrease in press. Back to the middle and wiggle. And a scribble. Three, two, one. Get the ball out of the way. We assess how the feet are feeling, how the ankles, knees, and hips align. And shake the tree. Center, two breaths. Just at the waist and swing the Down to the base of the spine, step out the same foot and gather in starlight. And same thing on the side. And center. Two breaths. Let's march in place. Good job. Or stretch up the floor. And today, as I mentioned before, we're going to do some isometrics. So if you have a strap or a towel or a cloth around, grab that when you can. That's in uh, the middle. And in the after class, we'll do some good yoga. So Whatever you want to do to get the heart rate going is good. I think I'll do some rapid squats today. 
Let's see, there's no. Well, there's a low squat involved in these isometrics, just holding that position. But I think I'll do some method squats, and uh, you can do what you're doing now. Be safe, whatever you do. In five, four, three, two, one. Twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. Two D press. Interlace the fingers. Bring the hand up overhead. Stretch for the ceiling. And lean back, if you can. Otherwise, just hold there. We'll be right back in a second. Go back to center. Lean to one side. And then the other. Back to center, drop the hands, pressing out at the chest. And now, interlace the fingers behind the back and raise the hands up. A little more. more and come down and shrug. Roll back. And forward. Extend the arms, fingers up, pull back. Finger down, pull back. Flop the wrists. Wiggle the fingers. Make the fist. Pressing at the uh, just above the knuckles. Other hand, same thing. Up, down. And flop. Extend the arms and rotate. Other direction. Thumbs are up, thumbs are down, up and down. Bring uh, one arm across the body, press back at the elbow, just above the elbow. And the other arm.
And behind the back, pressing down on the elbow. Other hand, other arm. We have both elbows with the opposite hand and bend to one side and then the other. Go back and rotate the neck. Other direction. Nod. Give the shoulder. Look to one side. With your, um, you want to have your chin tucked in. Look to one side. Drop your chin to your collarbone, towards your collarbone. And then lift it up. At the center, chin is tucked. Look over the other way. Drop it. Lift it. Back to center, we're going to a side lunge. Stretching the adductors. The other way. Go back to center, hinge at the waist, keep the spine neutral, head back. Just drop the hands. You feel a stretch in the uh, hamstrings. Keep that spine neutral. And come up, turn to one direction. Front knees at 90 degrees, back leg pressing down on the heel. Stretching the calf, holding on to something in front of you if you need to. Other way. And let's go up and grab a stick. I'm going to do the top relief routine today. So let's put the stick behind and rotate. And if you want to, you can start bringing the steps in. Slowly, carefully. And then bring the stick around in front and swing back and forth right in front of you. And then to one side. And 
and then the other. Bring the stick in front, palms are down, and paddle the kayak. Reverse. Bring the stick up to chest height and drop the wrists. Really shoulder height, I guess. And then down. And up and down. Next position, so your palms are up and drop the wrist. And then bring the stick down. Sorry about that, I feel like I have to do not disturb on, and then we'll go up. And uh, let's bring the stick back to the back again. And we'll do 10 knee up, so only give us five to feel comfortable doing alternating way. Maybe you can get a little bit higher. Go along. Five. Six. And ten. And then we're going to rotate the hips. Again. Yeah, let's go as high as you can do safely. Nine and ten. Take a deep breath. We're going to stick around front. We are doing isometrics today. So we're going to go up on our toes and hold for 17 seconds. Four, five, six, seven. Seventeen, and then back to our heels. Sixteen and seventeen. Okay, let's uh, put the stick down if you can. Yeah, I don't see. Yeah, there's no need for a stick in, in any of these, I don't think. Um, we're going to start by tucking in the chin and holding it for 15 seconds. Just tuck it back. I think that's my Mitch McConnell imitation. All right, so now bring both fists underneath your tongue, uh, underneath your chin, put your tongue at the roof of your mouth and press up as you're pressing down. Thank you. 
Okay, and now we're going to do a low squat. And again, uh, you can use a chair to hold on to the back of a chair or a table or, or the pole. Um, you want to bring your legs further than shoulder width apart. Point the toes out. Try to keep your heels on the ground as you go down. And only go down as far as you feel comfortable. If you can get all the way down below your knees, that's great. If not, just go as far as you feel comfortable and we'll hold for 20, 19, 18, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and then come forward on all fours. And you want your palms under your shoulders. And you're just going to lift up. We'll go for 15 seconds on this. You're going to lift your knees about an inch off the ground. One. Seven. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Of course, I should have mentioned uh, keeping your core engaged while you're doing that. Again, meaning the way you'd tighten up if you were about to get punched in the uh, stomach. I'm going to lie down now. Yay. Um, Put your legs up, one ankle is above the other, and pull down, uh, pull down uh, with the top leg as you're pressing up at the top. Three, four, six, seven, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Go down for a second. Then recover. Now we're going to put the other leg on top. And up. One, two. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and down. And we'll get up and grab that cloth or strap, a towel. What do I got here? An old uh, kitchen towel of some sort. So the fists are close together. Put it on the side, pull up, put on one side hip, and pull up as you're pulling down. The side you're on, the hand is on the bottom. And then switch sides and switch the position of the hands. Then bring the hands uh, and the uh, cloth to the middle of the body and start pulling in either direction as you raise the hands up from one side to the other. To about the top of the head and come down. Now let's put the cloth down. Put your hands together in a prayer pose and press. And 
and shake it out. And then, yes, we'll come up, make those biceps pop. One, two. And come down. Shake it out. And rub those hands together, cultivating some chi. Rather than standing on one leg as we usually do if we don't run out of time, we'll form a chi ball and practice our balance by shifting the weight from one leg to the other. We dance around following the direction of the chi. Like water flow. And center with two nice breaths. Let's open our hearts. Pausing on this inhale. And let it get go. Center. Two breaths. And bring down heaven to you. Going down, picking some up. And aha. Uh -huh. Namaste. Tom. Hey, how? Very good. Thank you. You're welcome, Mira. We got, uh, what do we have that came in? Whoops. A little later. Oh, where's my picture? Hey, Suzanne. Itchok, how are you? Um, we're going to do the five Tibetans and yeah. no, we're not, we're I doing know. Zen. I'm sorry. Yeah, I, 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 as I'm looking for my timer, I'm, I don't know, the heat's getting to me. So I'll meet you on the floor. I'm switching cameras and we'll be in cat position.
and starting in 15 seconds.
down. Um, well, we enjoyed that. You, you, you uh, muted this again. Have a good one, T. Thank you. That was that was great, Tom, except I had a little interference. <laughs> I heard. <laughs> uh, have a great one. Okay. You too. Have a good day. Stay cool. Right. Good visit, Tal. All right. Okay.